morning, it's Leonie from Stampin' Latte. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Australia and I've got these cute, cute little packages to show you how to make today. It'll be great for Christmas and for winter. You know, if you just want to give somebody a little treat, you can give them one of these. So, this is what we're making now. So, I'll just pop those out of the way and I'll bring in my Simply Scored. Okay, I love this board. This is a great board to use for making all sorts of different projects okay so we just need one piece of six by six paper all right so out of a full 12 by 12 you're going to get four of these out of a full packet of designer series paper you will get 48 little packages okay the same as a paper stack as well because you've got 48 sheets in one of those then there's a strip of paper which is six inches by one inch. Okay, now this is also from the Coffee Break paper pack. All right, and then I have a piece of the um, a piece of ribbon, which is also from the Coffee Break suite. Okay, so if you have a look on page thirty, I think it is or thirty-one in the catalogue, that's where all the Coffee Break products are so to get started what we're going to do is we're going to use our simply scored and our scoring tool our stylus love these products okay we're going to score it at two inches and we're going to score it at four inches okay then I'm going to rotate it actually I'll rotate it this way simply because this first score is going to be at the bottom of our package all right so we're going to score it at half an inch there and then okay, up to that score line we're going to do four and a quarter up to that first score line and then we'll jump across to that next score line which is here and do four and a quarter across there so that is the scoring so again what we do is we do two and four rotate all right one inch across the bottom and then four and a quarter up to the first score line skip over and then from that score line to the edge we're going to do four and a quarter again to the edge okay so I can pop my board away now I don't need that anymore okay but we do need my paper snips okay so what we've got here on this bit where we've only got the half inch score line we're just going to snip on an angle up to the top up to that cross score line there and then we're going to cut along the score line up to that score line there so this section comes out do the same on the other side okay All right. and then these pieces here I'm just going to cut them straight out these top corners over to the side okay so this is our little box that we're going to work with just get one of my burnt folders all right now we're just going to burnish all the score lines so just fold these two in fold this little baby up the top okay and then just work out which side you would like to be on top they're both exactly the same so I'm just going to grab my fast fuse I've got here okay, and I'm just going to put tape along that tab there fold this one over like so all right and then on this panel on the right left okay and just along the bottom and up the side is all that needs okay and then we're just going to bring that in like so Okay, so there is your little treat pocket. Now to finish that off, I'm going to wrap this around as a little belly band. So you will notice that I haven't scored 
this piece all right I just find that I could have scored it at two and four like I scored this box the the package but when you do that you'll have like two inches that will go around the side here when you go to wrap this side around your two inches is going to be in a little bit further so all I want to do is just wrap that around so it'll fit nicely on around my piece like so and then I'm just going to do some more fast fuse along the side here all right now you know with your fast fuse to finish that off you just have to flick it off to the left or to the right okay if you can remember to sort of alternate that it doesn't have to be every time you know, like every second time do it the opposite direction but if you just remember just do it occasionally that will mean that um, it doesn't get all caught up all right so now we're going to lay this down over here and line that up with the edge of the paper okay so then just give it a good squeeze where you've got the fold happening okay so then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring our ribbon in and we're just going to tie that around that belly band all right doesn't matter you don't have to position your knot just yet because you can once you've done your knot you can then just slide that around to where you want it to be whether you want it on the left or the right or the middle or whatever it is so we're just doing a double knot on here we're not doing a bow you could do a bow if you wanted to my piece of ribbon is not long enough for that today okay so just tying that around like that now I've gone ahead and I've stamped up my thanks a latte and cut it out with the big shot actually you know what I've done I've done a few here <laughs> so I've got an idea to um, give a few of these out so I thought oh, I'll just do a few of these so I'm just going to put I'm just copying this one here all right now I just thought I've got my heart and I've got my thanks there now the heart comes from the corrugated embellishments all right so you've got little tags here you've got ovals and there's hearts in here too I'm just going to grab one of the hearts out okay so I'm just going to slide that over like so just over on the left all right I can bring my scissors in my ribbon scissors and trim the excess off no, it seems like you're cutting a lot off, but you need that pull there to be able to pull it taut and um, then be able to cut the fraying parts off. Okay, so I've got my little thanks latte. I'm just going to stick that on with a dimensional. Just one dimensional will do that trick. Pop him in the middle. Okay, take the backing off and stick that there like that. This one here I'm going to pop on with a couple of glue dots just behind the top part of the heart. Okay, there we go. And then that can just hang off the edge of your belly band like that. All right, so there's your little pouch. See how quick and how easy that was to make? Didn't take long at all. Then you just grab your sachet or whatever it is that you are putting into the, um, the pouch. You can just fold the bottom, but that tends to catch. So I just have a tendency to fold mine over. And then they just slide in a lot easier. Okay, so there is... I hope you like that little package. They're quick and easy, fun to make. They'll be great for Christmas just to hand out with a candy cane or whatever it is that you want to pop in there it's always a good idea okay so thank you for joining me today and i hope you like my little project and i will see you again soon thanks bye hey if you want to play make it about a place It'll take creation, imagination Try to draw outside the line Let us see inside your mind You'll find inspiration All I'm saying is you can do it I wanna hear you say